Many trees lose their leaves in the fall when it starts getting cold. It's a fact of life. But do you actually know why trees lose their leaves? Take a moment to think about it, and you might realize that you don't really know. It's one of those things we hold as a foundational truth to how the world works, but many may struggle to accurately explain why this process occurs. Across the Northern Hemisphere, trees lose their leaves during fall when the weather starts turning cold. In tropical forests, on the other hand, trees lose their leaves when the dry season begins. But not all trees lose their leaves. The trees that do are called deciduous trees, and the trees that don't are known as evergreen. Deciduous trees will generally have broad leaves, like oak, maple, or acacia. Leaves of these trees are generally susceptible to damage in cold or dry weather, or both, whereas evergreen trees will generally have weather-resistant needles or leaves to hold up in any weather. But having leaves that can be damaged isn't the only reason that trees might want to shed them. Leaves are the way that trees collect and capture sunlight to process. Leaves are also very water and energy and nutrient rich. Having all that water and energy stored in leaves that can easily be damaged in bad weather is no good. So trees undergo the process of abscission to protect their valuable resources. The process of abscission begins as trees release hormones that begin reabsorbing all of the nutrients from the leaves and placing it back in the roots of the trees for long-term storage through the winter or the dry season. This process is also why leaves change color. Chlorophyll, the pigment that makes leaves green, is one of the first molecules that gets broken down for its base nutrients. When all of the nutrients have been reabsorbed from the leaves, then the leaves fall off due to changes in the cells at the base of the leaves, and a protective layer of cells forms over the now barren nub where the leaves were. There's also another benefit to shed leaves. When it comes to springtime and time for trees to pollinate, having no leaves on trees allows the pollen to travel greater distances and pollinate more trees. So, trees lose their leaves to protect all of their valuable nutrients in times of harsh weather and so that their pollen spreads further in the springtime. <laughs>